What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be similar to the last video where I went over how to install OpenCV with Python, but in today's video we're going to install and build OpenCV from source so that this would be used with programming languages such as C and C++. So today's video we're going to install the dependencies, CMake and Visual Studio. Then we're going to download and build OpenCV from source and then we're going to verify through a short command that we have installed OpenCV correctly. So let's get into it. So first things first, we're gonna wanna go and get CMake. So we're gonna go download CMake, click on the first link here. So bring us over to CMake, which is used to download binary and source code. It helps build source code. So that's what we're gonna do with how we're gonna build OpenCV. So I'm on a Windows machine. So I'm gonna go down here to the Windows 64 bit installer. I'll go click on that, and then I'm going to let that download. I'll come back when it's downloaded. So when it's done downloading, the installer will pop up just like this. We're going to go ahead and click Next, Accept the Terms, Agreement, Next. I'm going to add CMake to Path, and I'll create a desktop icon as well. I'm just going to put it in my program files, which is perfect. Next. And then now it's going to go ahead and install CMake. We'll come back when it's done. When it's done installing, this final screen will pop up. You're just going to go ahead and click Finish. And now we have CMake downloaded and installed. So now we're going to go and get Visual Studio. So Visual Studio is the IDE that we will be using to write our C and C++. So we're going to go to Downloads and it pops up. Um, community version is free, so this is one I recommend for everyone. You're going to go ahead and click this download link. And it's going to go ahead and download on your machine. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to skip this step. All right, when Visual Studio is done downloading, it'll open up the installer that looks like this. And you're going to be able to add which uh, add-ons you want. So the only one that really matters and you need for OpenCV is this one right here, Desktop Development with C++. So you're going to go ahead and make sure that checkbox is checked. And then you're going to go down here and it'll say install for you or modify. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to skip this step. But for you, just go down to this where it says close for me and click that modify or install button. And that'll go ahead and download the required packages for us. So now that we have Visual Studio downloaded, we're going to go on to the last step, which is to get OpenCV. So we're just going to Google OpenCV. Hit the first link that pops up. This will bring us to the OpenCV homepage. And now we can check out, this is, the, if you want the latest release, you just go right away and click on learn more. I'm gonna click on the releases. It'll bring us to the, all of the releases of OpenCV that have happened. Um, if you want four or three, this is where you decide. The star means it's the up, most up-to-date recent version. So I'm gonna go up and just get the four because it has more features um, and for this, Purpose. We just want to do it from source, so we're going to download the zip from the source. And it'll download, and we'll come back when it's done. So once you see that your OpenCV is downloaded, and in your downloads, whatever other folder you downloaded to, you're just going to double click, open it up, and then go to extract all. You can leave it here in your downloads if you want, but for me, I've created in my C users and myself, I've created an OpenCV folder. So I'm just going to have this as the destination and extract it there. And then we'll come back when this is finished. So once it's downloaded, you'll see that the folder is now in your OpenCV folder. And OpenCV out of the box comes with a lot of functionality, but it actually doesn't have all the functionality you could ever want and all the different functions. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the functions. So we're going to Google OpenCV Contrib. And then we're going to click on the first link, which brings us to the GitHub of OpenCV Contrib. And what is this? This is all of the extra modules and functions that you could ever want and allows you to do every single type of functionality with OpenCV that the out of the box base version doesn't have. So this is a recommendation that I would recommend to do. So once we're here, we're going to go to Branch Master. And you're going to click on the tags here to the right of branches. And then you're just going to go ahead and choose whichever version of OpenCV you downloaded from the official OpenCV page. 
So I did 4.1.2, and now I'm going to click on the clone and download, and I'm just going to hit this download zip, and that'll download the OpenCV modules contribs for the version that you chose. So we'll go ahead and download that, and we'll come back when it's downloaded. So OpenCV Contrib is now downloaded. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did with OpenCV Base, where we are going to extract all to our OpenCV folder. Perfect. Extract. We'll come back when this is done and get into the meat of it. So now my OpenCV folder has both the Contrib and the OpenCV Base. So next you're going to want to go is create a new folder in here called Build. And this is where all of our um, build files that come from building OpenCV will be located. So once you have these three file folders set up, you're going to want to go and open CMake. And you're going to go to Browse Source. And this is where you're going to choose the main base OpenCV. So I want my C, Users, OpenCV. And you're going to choose the base version that you downloaded from the site. And then for your build folder here, browse build, you're going to go to the build folder that we just created. So you're going to go to users, Jack W, OpenCV, and this is the build one. So this is where it'll put all of the folders that get built through CMake. So we're going to select that folder. And now you're going to go configure. From the drop down, choose either if you're x64 or 132. Hit finish. And the first round of configuration will now happen. You'll get a bunch of boxes that pop up in red where we're going to have to adjust maybe and add some folders. That's fine. I'm not Python 2. I have Python 3. So we'll come back when this is done configuring, and I'll show you what the red boxes look like. So you'll know configuration is done when you see the configuring done below. And if you don't see any giant red errors that pop up at the bottom, then you're good. So you'll see the red screen. This means that we have to do another wave of configuration. Um, this is what happened from our last one. So really, the only thing you have to do here is scroll on down to uh, where you see OpenCV enable extra modules, OpenCV extra modules path. So this is where if you decided to download the contrib, you're going to want to go here and choose this. So go OpenCV. OpenCV contrib, and you're going to choose the modules folder and just select folder. So that's all you have to do now. We can configure again. And at the end of this one, we should see that there are no more red, uh, red lines. It should all be white, and that means that configuration is done, and you're now able to generate your code. So we'll wait for this to finish. It doesn't take too long the second time around. It's a lot faster. And then we can generate our code and start to build it. So now that it's configured and we don't see any red lines, we can go ahead and generate our code. If you happen to see when you ran it a second time and you configured and you still saw red lines, try configuring again. Um, and then if you still continue to see them, message me down in the comments below and tell me your issue and I can try to help sort you through it. So now we're going to go generate. This will actually create the files within the build folder that we specified. So see, this is very quick. Generating's done. And now if we go back here to our build folder, we can see all of these files and folders that were not there before. So now that we've generated all the files necessary, it comes time to actually build OpenCV within Visual Studio. So within the build folder, you're going to want to scroll down and find the OpenCV solution file folder. So this is the solution file that, that will actually be able to build OpenCV. So you're going to go ahead and double click that and have it open in Visual Studio. So once it comes up in Visual Studio, it's going to load all the projects in. And you're going to want to expand the CMake Targets folder. And first things first, you're going to want to go to, over here to the mode and debug, change that to release. It's just a good practice that I like to do. So we're going to change that to release. And now we're going to go to right click on all build and build the, the, the file, the project. So once we build this, it's going to take a fair amount of time to go through everything and build it. It probably could take up to five minutes. So I'm going to come back when it's done. When the build finally finishes its foreverness, you'll hopefully see that all succeeded and none failed. 
you can check you can check the errors and hopefully you don't have any errors or warnings as well. So secondly, you're going to want to right click on install and build install. This will go ahead and actually install OpenCV. So once this is down done, this is a quick one you can see because it just has to do two. But now you should have OpenCV installed and built. So now we can go ahead and run a quick program to verify this. So to verify that OpenCV is properly built and installed, I'm going to go through the same example I showed in my previous video where I showed how to download OpenCV for Python. But this is a Python code, but it just shows the fact that OpenCV is now built from source on our machine. So, so you're going to open a command prompt and go, if you have OpenCV Python version, you're just going to want to go pip uninstall OpenCV Python. So this doesn't mess with the current version that we have. So, okay, it's not installed, good. So now we're gonna go Python, import CV2, and now go same command, print CV2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. And as we can see, it prints out uh, OpenCV version 4.1.2, which is indeed the correct version that we had downloaded from source. So this goes to verify that we have actually succeeded with building and installing OpenCV from source. And now we can go ahead and you can use it for Python, C, C++, every language you have configured now. So that kind of wraps up this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any other videos concerning OpenCV, maybe some tutorials or demos that you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.